Next weekend, the Nickel has plenty to celebrate with a visit from an artist, Matthew Reinhardt, and it will be the premiere of a new documentary featuring the center. So here to tell us more, Kayla Young. Welcome today, glad to have you. Thank you. The Nickel has been documented. Yes. Okay, so the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature. We mm -hmm. think about the artwork on the walls. We think mm -hmm. about the calf coming up again. That's we think right. about children's books and seeing these things. And now we're seeing just the nickel over the last 25 years. Yes, yeah, so wow. we just celebrated our 25th last year. And our dear friend Rob Westman has been filming for us for 25 years since the beginning. So he has footage galore of not just the nickel, but of Abilene's journey to becoming the storybook capital of Texas. The nickel was kind of that catalyst, and then all of these things have fallen into place. And so next weekend, we are getting to share with our community and with people who love the nickel and love Abilene, all of the great things that have happened throughout this whole journey. This has been a tremendous, I mean, an uh, effort of, of and a culmination of so many people and creative yes. minds and ideas. And you know, 25 years ago, you thought, well, we'll start with this, and will it really mm -hmm. work? Will it, people even like it? Will it will it take off like we want it to? And, right. And now we have Storybook Way, and we have um, sculptures and sculpture and the Storybook Garden and sculptures all over downtown and, yes. and goose chases and anything That's else. That's right. During the calf. Yes, we're very grateful that so many dreamers and doers have invested in not just the Nichols mission, but Abilene's mission to really prioritize storybooks and literature and art and education and families. And this is kind of just the product. This documentary will be the product of the value that our community has placed on all of those things. You know, over 25 years, there's been a lot of changes. I mean, mm -hmm. adaptions, um, adaptations and whatnot. What do you think, Kayla, has been probably one of the biggest um, biggest surprises about the changes that you guys have seen over 25 years. I mean, I, I know we have not yeah. everyone's been there for the entire stretch of it, but every with, for it, sure. with each individual and each director, things continue to right. evolve. Well, at the Nichols especially, we have loved seeing the generations that come through. So people who were a part of that original idea to bring the nickel to fruition, their children are coming, their children have children that they bring to our spring break wow. events that are a part of the calf festival. And so I think the fact that Abilene hangs on to that community idea so well has been not necessarily a surprise, but has been really special for us to see. I hadn't even thought about the generations, but you think about 25 years and you yeah. go, yeah, those children that were there originally mm -hmm. are now married. Maybe they've got kids of their own and they're coming yes, back. And that's it's right. just part of their culture and part of what they love. Yeah. So Matthew Reinhardt is coming next, yes. next weekend with wor workshops. People can come in pre-K right. four and up. They yes. Can come so and on the 14th, we have a free public um, lecture. He's going to be doing a lecture, demonstration, signing books, and that's at Hardin Simmons yep. at the Frost Center. And that is open to the community for free. And then Saturday morning, the Nickel is doing our normal family fun Saturday, but it's elevated. We're calling it a super Saturday. And um, Matthew will be there doing workshops with children as well. So you can register for those workshops and get a chance to have some one-on-one -on -one instruction with him in, in a classroom setting. Um, or you can just come and be a part of the Family Fun Saturday and not do the workshop either way. And then, of course, the premiere. And then the documentary is that evening at the Paramount Theater. On the big screen. Three. Yes, we're so excited. It'll be a beautiful presentation. I'm anxious to see just exactly, of course, Rob Westman does beautiful work, but yes, seeing he does. how he's documented this and, and yes. how this has all evolved and come and what more will come in the next 25 years. Yes, we're so excited for the future of the Nickel and the future of our community. Um, the Abilene Cultural Affairs has been a great support to us for this documentary and um, we're, we're excited to see Rob's work and the work of so many people who have invested in the nickel. So I love it. Kayla, your your enthusiasm is contagious. So <laughs> everyone else I love Abilene, so I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm excited too now. And the rest Thank of you, you, we would love for you to come out and help celebrate the Nichols documentary world premiere. Paramount Theater there at 352 Cypress Street. This will be Saturday, April the 15th at 7.30 p.m. And again, a full weekend schedule. Uh, all of the events that's listed on our website, bigcountryhomepage.com. So come out and be a part and celebrate Abilene and the Nickel.